Now, I wanted to come on here and make a video talking about boundaries and how healthy boundaries are the only way to eliminate narcissistic abuse and toxic people from your life. But then I got this video comment on my channel, and it says this, Kevin, could you please consider making a video about where all this narcissism is coming from? Please, Bess in Yorkshire. Well, Bess in Yorkshire, the answer is yes. Great question. Fabulous question. Mm. However, it's the wrong question. The reality is, is the question should not be where has all the narcissism come from, but rather, why are we just now talking about it, doing something about it, making a big fuss about it? And so for this reason, I think it's the perfect topic to blend together with boundaries. So for the first time ever, I'm going to take two topics and I am going to bring them into one hopefully very exciting and impactful video for you. We're going to talk about boundaries and how to protect yourself from narcissistic abuse and toxic people. And we're going to address where all of this narcissism has in fact come from. Let's go. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I do continue with this very important message, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box below this video, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls as well as video calls, so head on down to the description box to schedule your one-on-one -on -one time with me. Also, I have a coaching program. My coaching program is live and in-person each and every day. So if you're looking for a community to become a part of, Consider joining the Royal Week Coaching Program. And by the way, if you join right now, I am going to throw in my custom handmade artwork for your phone. It is a home screen of my design. I hand drew that so that you can open up your phone each and every day and you can be reminded of how important you are and what your purpose is this year, right? Breaking free of toxicity. Now, let's get into this blended topic, boundaries along with where all this narcissism has come from. Let me share something with you. How many of you really believe that narcissism is something new? That narcissism is something that has just popped out of nowhere. Where have all these narcissists come from, right? And this is typically what it can feel like. But the reality is, is how many of you are aware that narcissism is not in fact new? I mean, the, us talking about it is new, but narcissism, the reality of evil, has always been. The question is not where has narcissism, where has all this suddenly come from? The real question is why are we just now thinking about this? Look, listen, I want to, I want to show you something. Come here. I'm going to show you something. Let's go. I'm going to take you on a little field trip with me outside of my office space because I want to show you something that I believe is going to put things into a different perspective for you. Hopefully you can still see me. It's dark out here now. And uh, it's cold. So I'm going to make this quick. All right. I want you to see something here. Look at this fence right here. Now, looking at this fence, do I really need to ask you why I have seen so many rodents and rats and raccoons out in my space? I mean, look at this fence. It spans all the way along outside of my office space. Check this out. Look at this. Look at some boards missing over here, right? And listen, let me tell you something. It's not that rats and raccoons and possums, they're not new. They didn't just come into existence. They've always been. And look, I'm using this fence right here as an analogy because somebody, not me, but somebody built this fence because they believed that this was sufficient enough, that it's fortified enough, sufficient enough for what? I don't know. It doesn't keep anything out. Rats, snakes, rodents, 
they all get through this with ease. So I don't know what exactly this is sufficient for. I'm going to be spending my 2024 refortifying this fence, this boundary around my space. Now, why am I showing you this? Because many of you, myself included, have built fences like this around our lives. Because at some point, you've been told, I've been told, that it's sufficient for our boundaries to look like this. Don't be too walled up. Don't be too enclosed. So our fences, our boundaries are like this. And we wonder why narcissists, psychopaths, rodents, rats, snakes, raccoons find their way into our lives. You see, it's not a narcissism problem. Narcissism has always existed, just like rats and rodents and snakes have always existed. The real question is, how come we're just now aware of our boundaries? And how unfortified our boundaries are in life. I'm going back inside because it's cold. And I've got more to say. Stay with me. So I came back in here to finish this video for you and my camera just broke. It just went dead. My number one A camera for my videos. But you know what? Look. I've got cameras. I'm prepared. Not today, devil. This message needs to get out. I'm going to do the rest of the video on my phone because this message needs to get out to you. As a matter of fact, the fact that my camera just busted right now tells me that I really need to get this video done. So the rest of this video is going to be done on my phone. I hope you don't mind and I'll figure out what the heck is going on with my uh, other camera there, my camera A. I've got cameras, so I'm not worried about it. Anyhow, I'm going to try not to be flustered over that. Get back to the point of this video and this message. You see, the question is, Kevin, can you address where narcissism, where all this narcissism has come from? It ties in perfectly with a message about boundaries. Because as I stated, it's not a question of where has all this narcissism come from as though it's just appeared. The reality is, is... It's always been, but we're just now talking about it. We're taking it more seriously now today. We don't live in the era of narcissism. Narcissism has always been. We live in the area, the era of awakening. That's what this is. This isn't the age of narcissism. It's the age of awakening. This is the age of division. I've talked about this before. If you consider the biblical text, of the parable of the farmer who went out and sowed good seed, the enemy sowed weeds amongst the good seed of wheat. And then what does the parable say? The two must grow together for a period of time and then they'll be separated. I believe that what's taking place today is our awareness, our ability to be separated from that which is toxic. We live in the day and age where the wheat and the weeds are being separated. It's as simple as that. Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. I believe for a period of time, we were all living in this naive bliss, if you will, of everybody get along. Everybody just come together. And I'm not sure at what point in time this became an issue or the mindset. Perhaps it was during the hippie movement. Perhaps it was modern Western world Christianity. And if you ask me, it seems like modern Western world Christianity and the hippie movement have a lot in common. It's, oh, we're all just people. Let's all just get together. Let's not have walls. Let's not have any real protection. Mm -mm. Let's all come together. Smoke this marijuana together. All Western world Christianity did at the time of the hippie movement, is replace weed with Jesus. But it's still the same thing. Let's just all come together and love each other. And it was at this point, I believe, that boundaries became weakened. People no longer looked at life as, well, I need to have proper boundaries. I need to fortify the fences around me. And what's interesting about this is that 
it's contrary. It's in contrast to the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, you don't have to be a believer in Jesus or a Christian to understand what I'm going to tell you. A lot of people have a problem with the Old Testament, which happens to be my favorite part of the Bible right now. What's the problem with the Old Testament? Hmm? It's that a lot of people will say, well, Kevin, because the God of the Old Testament was too judgmental, too harsh. Why? Because God separated this type of person, this type of value system from everything else that was out there. A lot of people have a hard time with that. If you go back and read the Old Testament, now that you've experienced narcissistic abuse, you're going to have a better understanding as to why. Why God was so harsh. Why God told people, stay away from this, stay away from that. God was instructing discipline in the people who followed God, followed those values, followed that belief. Now, how many of you, having experienced the trauma of narcissistic abuse, would raise your hand and say, you know what? I would gladly suffer through the discipline of God, separating myself from what's toxic. I would gladly take that over what I've been through by enmeshing myself because of weakened boundaries with people I shouldn't have been enmeshed with. A lot of people would say, Kevin, we shouldn't have walls because then we can't be an island unto ourselves and this and that. And to a lot of people, that's what harsh boundaries are. When it, that's not true at all. You see, you can fortify your boundaries. You can build a complete wall around your life because you'll have doors, at least a door. Right? It's not about keeping everybody out of your life. That's not what we're talking about. That's not the purpose of boundaries. The purpose of boundaries is to make sure that everybody who has access to your life goes to the door. That people knock and you allow them to enter. Right? That's really what it's about. It's about you being in control of your drawbridge, so to speak. You lower it to allow only the people who you want in your life to have access. You think about all buildings out there, businesses, right? People, they know ahead of time who's coming in. They've been given the access. You open the door for them. Where we're at right now is we are living in a day and age where it's time for you to fortify your boundaries and make sure that people use the proper door. They knock on the door before they enter into your life. You're aware of them coming before they just come into your life. You are learning the value of getting to know a person before they're allowed in through your door. This is what it is to build healthy boundaries. It's not closing yourself off from the world. It's bordering yourself so the rats and rodents and snakes can't easily get into your life because you've been told and conditioned to believe that it's okay to let all the rats and rodents and whatever have access into your life. After all, we're all just people. No. Now you are aware that it's okay to have solid boundaries, a fortress to fortify yourself and to make people who want access into your life to use the proper door to make sure that they knock before they enter and to be sure that you know who and what's coming into your life. I know that this, this has been a difficult video for me to make because, you know, one, I took you outside, showed you the fence, but number two, my camera broke and now I'm recording on a phone. So I hope that this is coming across okay. I hope that this is making sense to you. That it's not about why there's so much narcissism. You see, my mom dealt with narcissistic abuse in her marriage two of them, including my father. My grandparents dealt with it too. And for a long time, what was the attitude? A sweep it under the rug, right? What happens in the house stays in the home. Don't worry about it. See, we're no longer living in that time. Now, because we talk about narcissism, we're able to look at our boundaries 
And we're able to say, no, I don't have to have rats and snakes in my yard. I can fortify my boundaries. Which would give me the power to allow only the people in, the things in, that I'm okay with. Think about this. As I said, I'm trying to get this message out to the best of my ability. Camera broken and all. I hope that this is reaching somebody. And as I said before, if you are struggling in this area, if you want to get deeper, head on down to the description box, schedule some one-on-one time with me. I'd love the opportunity to talk with you. All right, I'm going to go work on my camera issue here. I'll be back with more videos right here on the Royal Wii.